Is your model watertight? How do you know? Can you create a flow simulation study? With SOLIDWORKS flow simulation, we're able to identify where a model may not be watertight. Now take a look, and this is a good practice if you're creating a flow simulation study. Prior to creating a project, go to Check Geometry. And for an internal analysis like this, make sure you have internal enabled. And then you can click Check or Show Fluid. In this case, yeah, you can see I have a failure. My model is not watertight. So I do have a shortcut here to open up leak tracking. And with this, I'm able to specify two faces. It would be best to uh, pick a face that's on the outside of your model and then pick a face that's on the inside, for instance, a lid, the outside of the lid and the inside of the lid. Click Find Connection, and it's going to go through and try and connect those two faces based on that geometry. And you can follow this ribbon along and identify. You can see where it switches colors. And I can tell now that this lid is problematic. That's what I'll have to investigate to fix any of my leaks. We've enhanced this functionality in 2015 to show two colors here, so a two-color band. So like I mentioned earlier, when that color switches from red to blue or blue to red, that's where my leak was identified, and that's where I can focus to fix my design to make sure I have a solid fluid volume inside. Hopefully this helps you with your flow simulation efforts. Have a great day.